Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am going to talk about something that I probably done talked about before on my channel. But before we get started, I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell better be notified every time I decide to throw up a crazy video. Okay? Um, some of you guys have still asking me to do certain topics that are not related to my YouTube channel, which one day I might cross over and do them, but, um, I want to tell you guys, my video is basically based on life hacks. Anything that I feel like have helped me throughout my life, or anything I feel like that will help you out through your life, I put it out in the atmosphere. Um. And I know sometimes I talk about health issues on my channel. And that's only because um, it's part of my life. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that went through it or gone through it. I also talk about employment issues um, because I know I'm not the only one going through it. I do talk about social media issues. But I do not talk about drama on social media. Um, and that's basically what most people be asking me to put out. Um... If it's a social media issue within itself and not social media issues talking about other people, um, I won't talk about it. Um, if it's social media about a, a group of people or social media issues about one person that did something and a lot of people is coming at them, I, I eventually give my opinion on it. Um, just like... I have, just like I have coming up Thursday for you guys, a video that a subscriber wanted me to upload for you guys and give my opinion on the movement. I have no problem doing that. Um, if you have anything other than that, um, I probably won't do. Um, unless it's like a relationship issue, I give my opinion on it. But anything um, re related to like games and stuff, child i do not play games i don't know games unless it's like a game that's on the phone but other than that i don't play games honey so yeah let's get straight into this video because i don't ramble on long enough this video today i'm going to talk about how to survive on social media and i'm not talking about um just going post and stuff i'm talking about actually surviving on social media and avoiding all the controversy and all that stuff um I want all of you guys just to take in my opinions and my tips because I feel like it done helped me because I have been on social media ever since I was young, young, okay? I was I was on social media before they came out with Facebook. Um I was on social media when they was doing MySpace and all that stuff. Um so I was I'm that old. To where um, social media was a big thing, but it wasn't a big thing when I was first coming up. Um, I feel like social media didn't become a big thing until like 2000s and up, I, I feel like. But let's get started. And these are typically just my opinion, okay? First, I want you guys to start watching out for people who are anti-shakers. And uh, somewhere in this video, I'm going to tell you what an anti-shaker is. An uh, anti-shaker is basically the people who actually enjoys, like, chaos and all that stuff. And typically, when they can't not find it, they normally would make it up or create some. Um, just like in a fight, when you go to somebody's house, you're going to say, they said this, this, this about you. And then the person go actually ask them, and they really didn't say it. It's just because you started it. Then it's going to be a fight. So, that's basically what anti-shaker is. Um, so, yeah. That's what it is. Um, so, moving on. Realize that digital privacy is a lot. Anyone can screenshot anything. Just because you deleted it off of Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. Always is a digital copy going to someone 
basically the people who made Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or all those things. So never get it mistaken when you put something out there in the universe. It's necessarily not deleted at all. So don't get it um, construed. It. Also, the privacy is there for a reason. Um, do not give out your addresses, where you at, what you, what you do on a normal basis, and all of that stuff. When people ask me where I live, I tell them Mississippi, or I tell them Canada, or something like that. People ask me what I do on a daily basis. I just say live and go to work. That's it. I do not tell people my routine. The only people I might tell my routine is people I actually know. I really don't tell people. I actually never tell people on social media what is my daily routine because you have stalkers out here. And stalkers usually are killers. So, yeah. If you're in a business, act like it. And I know the majority of people go straight to social media and put their business on social media to gain extra followers, to gain extra um, income. But you also have to act like you're in a business or running a business. Nothing wrong with promoting your business. I want to tell you guys that there's nothing wrong with promoting your business, but sometimes it's how you promote your business. And also do not start spamming. I hate people who spam their business. You told me about your business one time why you had to keep telling me. Um, I can understand you go on there and you promote yourself. I have no, I have no problem promoting people on my website, on my Facebook. I have no problem with that. But I also want to tell you guys, if you want me to promote something, I will do it on my Facebook or Instagram. But what I won't do is keep promoting you for free. I would not do that. That's just, if you won't do it on your Facebook or Instagram or nothing like that, I won't do it. Um, so, never tell people you're going to do this for them. If you get like 100 subscribers, you're going to do this and you don't do it. That's spamming. Um, so, stop doing that. I hate when people do that. Just like when it comes to hair and lashes. If you get so many subscribers or you get so many people buying something with your hundredth buyer, you're going to give them something free and you never do. And then when they come in and say you don't, then you go on Facebook and you dog them out. That's all you stop spamming people because that's how people get hurt. Then when you get hurt, you play victim. But you got to understand it wasn't them who did anything. It was you lying. So stop lying to people, okay? Manage your time. Sometimes people stay on social media forever. Um, I had to do this. I I start scheduling my time on social media. If I'm going to be on social media one day all day, that means I need to go two days without social media. Um, If I'm going to be on social media for probably eight hours out of a day, then that means uh, tomorrow I need to stop. I need to get off of social media for eight hours. That's how I am. Um, but basically, I really don't force myself to be on social media at all. But I need to start promoting myself more than I have been. That's what I need to start doing instead of getting on there reading other people's drama. Um, so basically, if you go on my social media page, you'll see me promoting myself or promoting something I'm doing. Or basically just putting a saying out that I feel strongly about something like that. But just up there just spreading rumors about people. I stopped doing that a long time ago. Um, mind your manners. Be respectful at all times. Which leads straight into mind your manners. Okay. Um, This is probably going to be hard for younger people. Because younger people get on Facebook just to put up they had a fight. Or just to start a fight. Um, but sometimes it gets to the point to where it's, it's just played out. I feel like it's enough people in this society that has passed away, that has lost their lives, and didn't need to, all because of some foolishness. So, um, just be mindful of what you put out in the universe. Be respectful to people. And also, I want to refer back to my... Stop being a bully uh, video. You guys need to watch that video. Um, because I want everyone to know that being a bully is not cute. And when I was in high school, I really wasn't bullied that much. 
um the only time I was really bullied is when um I really wasn't bullied matter of fact I can't think of a time I was bullied but I just want to tell you guys that's not cute don't bully nobody um but I will say I wasn't the popular type. Um, I was well known in school, but I'm not the popular type. So I didn't really run with the popular crew. Um, I was considered a nerd and popular at the same time. So you imagine which crew I actually ran with. Um, and back then, I was slangy. So you just imagine which crew I was running with. Um... And also, all this stuff that's starting on social media, you have to get to the point of knowing when it's time to walk away from social media. Most of you guys know it as taking a break from social media or being social media. Um, Me, I have decided to be in social media, but I want to be in social media when I get ready to go to Virginia. Um, And that's in April. So, yeah. um, That's when I'm going to just stop all social media and I feel like this when I need to pick up on social media um but when I do come back to social media you guys know I'm gonna have pictures and all of that stuff I'm still going to record some of it I can't record all of it because I'm actually not going up there for pleasure I'm going up there for business um so yeah um also I have a lot of things coming up that I'm gonna talk to you guys about but it won't be probably, I want to say I want to push it back to my birthday talk before I can introduce everything to you guys. Um, because I don't want to introduce everything prematurely and then you guys start asking where is it, what happened, all this stuff. I'm not going to do that. Um, so yeah. But I think this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. Um, let me know what you guys think about social media. Um, if you had a chance to, like, change some things on social media, what would you change? Um, or what would you add to social media or something like that? Um, if I was the one changing social media, I'll add, I'll change the like and the hate button. Um, the like, the dislike, the, the, um, uh, following button. I'll change that thing. I'll change all of that. Um. So, yeah. That's what I'll do. Um, if I was to add something, um, I have a page to where it's like celebrities on one page and other people on, uh, on one page because sometimes the celebrity is the one that causes the most drama and then sometimes they can go all over social media and it's more drama starting. So, that's one thing I would change. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, of course in the middle of this video you were supposed to give me a like. Um, make sure you hit other, every other button that will help your girl out. Um, like I say on every other video, if you guys have any videos you want me to record or any uh, topics you guys want me, my opinion on, I always put them in the comment section below. Um, I only have like two or three people that email me at that email address. So, um, if you have any comments you guys want to, um, put, make sure you put them in the comment section. I would love to read y'all comments. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in my night, in my next video. Bye people.